Now our topic is kinetic energy. If object is in some motion, that object possesses this kinetic energy. So always kinetic energy is related with some motion. So if object is moving with certain velocity or certain acceleration, it possesses some kinetic energy. So see, object is not directly possess motion. Earlier it have some energy because of that energy that object possess that motion. That object is in motion because of that energy. So the cause of that energy, cause of that motion is known as kinetic energy. So simple. If object having motion that related with the kinetic energy. So now we are deriving the formula for this kinetic energy. Earlier we discussed that third equation of motion which starts from 2As is equal to V square minus U square. If I subject simply S, S is equal to V square minus U square upon 2A. Right? Now if I am writing work formula because with this energy the object is in motion and because of that motion object can do work so work formula F is equal to F into S we know that force formula mass into acceleration into S mass acceleration now put this formula here V square minus U square upon 2A A get cancelled out so we are left with M V square minus U square upon 2 so this is work done formula but if object starts its motion with zero initial speed then this equation now becomes w is equal to half mv square and work is nothing but one type of capacity means by the energy we are having work so that's why i can write ek means kinetic energy so kinetic energy formula is half mv square so this is about the kinetic energy formula now we have second equation also in second equation s is equal to ut plus half at square we are also having s in this equation right so s u is zero here so i can write u is equal to zero now s is equal to half at square again if we are having w is equal to f into s so w is equal to mass into acceleration into half at square so w is equal to what we get here half m a square t square now a into t earlier we discussed about this formula acceleration is equal to final minus initial upon t but u is zero that's why we are left with only this term v by t now if i subject this v v is equal to a into t here square so i can write v square here instead of a square t square so w is equal to half m v square this is again what we get here so it is our kinetic energy now our first equation of motion that is of acceleration means uh, v is equal to u plus at actually if u is zero then u will be zero then v is equal to at so we can directly put that uh, a is equal to v by t right w is equal to mass into acceleration uh, into uh, distance so mass into v by t into s so this is our s now now s s formula we know that uh, that uh, s is equal to v into t so we can put it here so m v by t but see here we have to find average of this so that's why i have to write here 2 and then s formula is vt so i can write vt tt gets cancelled out so we are again getting half mv square so again w is equal to half mv square is nothing but kinetic energy so we can find same kinetic energy formula with the three equations of motion so that is our kinetic energy always kinetic energy relates with motion it has some velocity that's why it possesses some kinetic energy uh, so example of kinetic energy that uh, whenever wind is blowing 
wind have some velocity wind molecules also having some mass that's why it have some kinetic energy similarly if car is moving on a road car is moving with some velocity car have also some mass in it that's why that car possess kinetic energy right if bullock cart it also have mass also have some smaller value of velocity but still velocity is there so that's why we that have that thing have some kinetic energy so that is our kinetic energy